What is going on guys today? We are looking at player moments. Jamie Vardy, the left wing 96, looks very, very nice. And to be honest, the SBC really wasn't that bad. We'll break that down. We'll have a look at him and play him in the Shapeshifters Cup coming up in a second. If you're tired of... If you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order, and hopefully you have a good day. So, of course, of any SBC, we have to show this. It's beautiful. You love the player moments. The left wing version of him looks actually really nice. He's actually quite a high rated. This year, he's not necessarily got the cards that really you kind of want from a Jamie Vardy because naturally, what, an 80, what, what is it, an 86 to start with? Managed to get an inform. He did get a 93 in the... I want to say that is the Europa Conference, I want to say, but I, I honestly cannot remember between the Conference and the Europa which one's which. But he has got a 93, so it's only a plus 3 this year. But again, the big, big thing for him is the 4-star, 5-star. That is absolutely huge for him. Max now is weak foot, high, medium, right-footed, 5'10". I would probably still prefer him as a striker, if I'm being absolutely honest. But he does make a solid, solid partnership with a lot of English players in the midfield, left back, striker. There's a lot of good links that you can have with him. The stats itself look really, really nice. People are looking towards more of an engine just to give him that complete feel. Maxes out his pace, gives him, what, 94 passing, 97 dribbling. Max now his dribbling to 99 and also his agility balance to 99. So the card becomes very complete. And this is what it looks like with an engine. As we saw, plus two onto the pace, plus six on the passing, plus three onto the dribbling. And to be honest, you've already got the aggression maxed out. Reactions are already maxed out, same as composure. The stamina and jumping are pretty up there. Shot power, finishing, penalties and positioning, as well as volleys, to be honest, are either there or one or two away. So for me, the, the upgrade is absolutely fire. He's had a big upgrade from obviously his 93 i think in terms of the upgrade we've had three on his defending shooting and pace four on his passing five on the physical and six on the dribbling plus the big upgrade of the four star five star so just one a piece but we know full well that that can make a massive difference unfortunately doesn't have any actual traits in terms of shooting he's got team player but no flair no outside of the foot or finesse which might have added a little bit to him but I still think he's going to be fantastic. So let's jump into the gameplay and see what this card is worth. And hopefully during the gameplay, we get an update on what price is coming in at. Over to Vardy on this wing. I just want to see what this acceleration is. I, I, to be honest, I didn't really expect him to go past Trent then. But I do think that's going to have a massive factor. Again, like a few of the uh, the players we've been getting recently, acceleration has definitely been a, a thing that I've been seeing with a lot of them and really putting that, that kind of pace to the test. Vardy picking it in there, gets the first touch, but it's not enough. He still manages to get a little bit of a shot off, and that can go anywhere in a game. I've seen that go straight to the other striker, and there's an easy goal, and sometimes you do get very lucky, and the, uh, the defensive team managed to cooperate as we find him here. Go with a little ball roll. Have we got a finesse? Trying it, giving it a little bit of look and tap into Vardy. Oh, he just doesn't manage to get it. Again, he pokes it away from Allison's grasp, but it's just not enough for that finish yet. Little reverse into the shot, and again, it's inches. Vardy on the ball, one to Eusebio. Looking for that run, but he, he makes the run, and that's something that I do like from him, is that he is he constantly making runs up and down a pitch, and stamina should help him through that easily. Let's see him again here, looking for that Richarlison pass. He manages to get past... Trent with E this time. Gets a little through ball. One more to him. Back to Vardy. Goes for that finesse again. This is where Trait really would make that difference for him. There's Vardy. Chip him. Get the seconds. Oh, he's just so close. It's that classic first goal lock at the moment. As soon as he gets one, you just know he's going to start banging them in. But that first one is coming definitely into Vardy. And Signe is making his run. First run of the game. Can he find something in this? Pings it back in. Not quite enough, but it's definitely better than what we've been doing so far. Vardy 
Go for the crack. Why not? He needs that outside of the foot. But again, he puts himself in them situations. It's why I just think he's more designed as as kind of like a, a striker more than a winger. Passing has been upgraded definitely to him. But I don't think it's been enough to, to really class him as a winger. I think there's definitely at the 96 level far too many passes that are not necessarily not complete. But not as good as what you could find some of the mids do it. There it is, Vardy with the sweat, and it has gone 64 minutes. I think that's got to be a shapeshifter record for me. Ooh, big Serie, oh, big Serie A slash Bundesliga team this time round. Let's see what Jamie Vardy can do in this one. He's managed to get a goal already. Granted, a little bit of a sweat goal, which is always allowed at times, especially when you are going against these top-end players. But... He did well. He managed to get in the positions. Couple of shots maybe could have done a little bit better. But again, I think they're more snapshots. Ones that I'm not necessarily expecting a goal from. Like something from here. Like I wouldn't expect Zidane to score that. But sometimes he does. That worked out far too well. I think the only thing for me for Jamie Vardy is... I kind of expect a little bit more from him. And I think that's a bit harsh straight off the bat going in such a competitive mode. But... That is poor. How on earth has he done that? But I was expecting a little bit more from him. It's not necessarily that he's bad or anything like that, but when you look at left wing in general and you think of even just the past couple of SBCs, for one that sticks out for me is Insigne. Again, another cracking player. And yes, it, a completely different league, completely different body types, all of that. And I think for me, Vardy doesn't quite live up to his expectations and that sometimes isn't necessarily the the best comparison but you see him in everybody's team Insigne is always there he has an absolute impact straight away whereas I think Vardy takes he's definitely taken a little bit more to get used to yes I do think in terms of Vardy he is more of a striker than Insigne but even if you wanted to use him as left wing I just don't think he's necessarily got it in him to be able to to be honest but again, sometimes a few games could actually lead to, to to better things when you learn how to use him a bit more, trying all of the angles with him, maybe all of the shots. I do like the the introduce of the left foot and uh, not the left foot, the weak foot and skill moves because I think that is a massive thing that that's always held him back in terms of having a three star, four star at this late on in the game. Unfortunately, it just it's too much to to have as a disadvantage compared to other players, especially when we're getting more and more players now with the four star, uh, four star, five star, five five. There's a lot more coming up there, so he needed to be upgraded with that as well. And I think they've done very well to get both of them in. Big hit. That's a cracking save. First touch is lethal, second is the finish, and what a way to finish it. That is beautiful. So if we are going into Vardy's overall SBC, so we refresh this. It's coming in, it seemed like about 290 to 320. Honestly, I, I need to see Insigne's price. And again, I, I need to compare him to the right players. We'll have a look and kind of delve deep a little bit. We want left wing if we can. So we can see where is Insigne. 344. So again, again, it's not that it's not that bad of a price difference, to be honest. They are coming in relatively similar. I think as a left wing, he does he doesn't cut the cake for me. You've got Son, again, another one that plays better as a striker personally. Same as Rashford. Much prefer them as a striker. Would probably actually prefer both of them personally. Ronaldinho is always going to be clear at left wing. Same as is any of these top five, six, most definitely. I think if you go further down. I think Dan Juma, definitely a left wing, 100% was a cracking card to do. In terms of a striker, we look more Premier League based because I think you could do that with any card. There's always someone better unless you have got the top of the top. And Vardy, unfortunately, isn't there. In terms of striker then, Ronaldo's better, Son's better, St. Max. Lacazette has had his up and downs. I personally would say Lacazette is better from the games that I've experienced, but I could definitely see the other way. Pepe, normally very good as a striker, but the finishing normally for me is always lacking. Again, it could be me or it could be the card. It would be down to you to judge. I think then he would be on that level. I think he's definitely somewhere in that top 
probably about the top eight in terms of Prem strikers, really. Left wing, I don't think he's anywhere near... Uh, well, Ronaldo's obviously better as a, a, a striker anyway. Mane, left wing all day. Um, and I'd probably take even Rashford and Son as a left wing. Even Sterling, what a cracking left wing he is. So I want to see a 96-97 Sterling. That would be very nice indeed. But for me, Vardy... Always going to be a striker. That is personally where he plays better. Um, left wing is just too far out. He hasn't got that dribbling ability like a left winger. Whereas a striker, he's got the aggression. He's got uh, some some strength. Definitely the card reads better than what that is saying. But again, you can notice sometimes he's knocked off the ball. The agility balance is nice. Composure is good. Finishing on his day is absolutely class. It's maxed out. And I think definitely if you go into a setting where it's a bit more relaxed, I think the Shapeshifters Cup does kind of test the absolute best of the best. And it all depends on your matchmaking. Sometimes you find people who just cannot hack it. And you can get an easy win we got a few i think a fair few games there that really were a little bit more challenging and kind of bringing a brand new player in with a, a different body type a different sort of playing style maybe the, the the wrong choice but he managed to get the two goals that were needed of him managed to get a sweat and then a little bit of a strike around the keeper i can't argue with that gets himself in the position good pace dribbling wise felt nice but again not necessarily what a 97 dribble should actually feel like personally but I still move with him. In terms of the price, I think in terms of Prem tax and everything like that, like we've seen with Insigne, he's coming in at the same sort of price, so I can't really say it's over expensive or under. I think you could make it cheaper, but at the same time, you know what an English left wing 96 card will do. That is definitely going to be the case. And obviously with potential of a Trent SBC coming as well, it's only going to make that price even more taxable because you've got an English link as a strong link there. But overall, I think he's a good card. SBC probably coming in average more than anything. Nothing too crazy. Could you get away with not doing him? I think definitely. If you've got Insigne already, any of them team of the seasons that we showed just, I think he's just, again, another fodder card unless you need him in a team or generally just like Jamie Vardy. That is definitely the case as well. Overall, for the player, I'd give him a solid 9.5. I think he's up there with, with a top-end card, but I wouldn't necessarily call him the best in that position, unfortunately. So let me know down below what you think about Vardy. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this. And if you want to comment down below, if you are still here, what you think of Vardy and will he make it into your main team? Let me know down below and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.